Good morning, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. This is Rich again, back for your second video blog of the day for Tuesday, July 7th, 2015, around 7.01 in the morning in Bellica, Massachusetts. Second video blog is the, my top 10 list of continuing of everything and anything. 19 years ago today, Hulk Hogan turned heel and joined the NWO with Scott Hall and Kevin Nash at Bash at the Beast 1996. This heel turn catapulted Hulk Hogan from a beloved face to a beloved heel and it was a catalyst to get the big wrestling boom of 1996 to make WCW the number one wrestling promotion in the world. And the NWO angle f was one of the hottest things in, in WCW ever for the next four years it seems like every WCW superstar was part of the NWO for one reason or another NWO, NWO Roof Pack, NWO Hollywood and as there were some some wrestlers who never or WCW personalities who never joined the NWO but here are the top 10 people in WCW that should have been NWO members between 1996 and 1999. Number 10 on this list is the Nasty Boys, Knobs and Sags. Um, Knobs and Sags tried to join the NWO um, around October 1996, but Hulk Hogan rejected their plan, but in, re but in real life they should have been NWO members because backstage Knobs and Sags were good friends with Hulk Hogan and stuff like that. I'm very surprised they, they didn't accept their membership for full time. Number 9 on this list of the top 10 people in WCW that should have joined the NWO is the Kevin Sullivan, the Taskmaster. Even though Kevin Sullivan hated Hulk Hogan in, in real like in the storylines, that would have been so cool if Kevin Nash joined the NWO and stuff. He could have had like kind of the dark side of the NWO and stuff. That would have been real great. Number eight on this list of the ten people in WCW that should have joined the NWO between 1996 and 1999. Men, who was like part of the Faces of Fear, but in in real life. Backstage, who was one of Hulk Hogan's close friends, very surprised that me never joined the NWO. He would have been a tough guy, NWO member. Number seven on this list of the people that should have joined the NWO in WCW between 1996 and 1999. The man of a thousand holds, Dean Malenko. But Dean Malenko was a loner and stuff like that, but he would have fit pretty good as a member of the NWO. Number six on this list of, of the top ten people of WCW that should have joined the NWO. Mean Gene Oakland. Mean Gene was a like was like the like the main interviewer for WCW and he had a close relationship with Hulk Hogan and stuff like that. I'm very surprised Mean Gene did not turn heel and always supported the NWO and stuff. That would have been very, very funny and stuff like that. But maybe they don't, WCW did not, not want to lose in number one, um, lean and out, I mean, interviewer and stuff like that. It, it was rumors that Mean Gene was going to be an NWO member when it first, when Hogan turned, but that never came to be. Number five on this list of the top ten people in WCW that should have been an NWO member, Chris Jericho. He should, he could have joined the NWO around like 1998, the beginning of 1998 when he was starting at heel turn and getting mad, throwing chairs and stuff like that. It will never ever happen again. He would have been good NWO material, Chris Jericho. Number four on this list of the top ten people that should have joined the NWO. Eddie Guerrero, he would have been a very perfect member of the NWO and stuff like that. He lies, he cheats, he steals. That's Eddie Guerrero's model. Number three on this list, who sh te the top of the top ten people that should have joined the NWO, Chris Benoit, the Crippler. He would have been perfect in, as an NWO member, especially after the Horseman broke up and stuff. Chris Benoit was a decent face, but he, he's a much better heel in my opinion. He would have been perfect as, as an NWO member. Number two on this list of the top ten people in WCW that should have joined the NWO. He, John Tenta. John Tenta had so many crazy gimmicks like Earthquake and... 
the shark and the avalanche and Golga and John Tenta would have been perfect as a part of the NWO. He, he feuded with Hulk Hogan for most of his career, but being on the same side, especially as a heel, and especially John Tenta as an as, as an NWO member, would have been perfect. And number one on this list of the top ten people in WCW that should have been the NWO member, the mouth of the South, Jimmy Hart. Very surprised that Jimmy Hart never was an NWO member because he was good friends with Hulk Hogan backstage. He was Hulk Hogan's manager when he came to WCW, but he turned on him at Halloween Havoc 1995. Um, Jimmy Hart was a member of the Dungeon of Doom uh, as the manager back then, then around this time, but it would have been perfect to see um, Jimmy Hart as an NWO member and stuff like that. He could have wore those airbrush jackets that says NWO and had like an NWO megaphone. That would have been so cool. And that's about it on that. And when you're NWO, you're NWO for life. And too sweet. And anyway, that's about it on this video blog. Two more video blogs coming today. Later on, MBTA Bus Route 94. David Square to Method Square. And the fourth and final video blog of the night will be about... Actor, comedian Mike Goldberger, who hosted Match Game 1998. Have a good day, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. Bye now, and keep calm, and I'm a Julie Brennan.